Hey there everybody, today I'm going to be showing you my custom made banners for each of the five main serpentine tribes from Lego Ninjago. Starting over here, I'm going to start with the Hypnobri and work my way over to the Constricti, and Achondri, Fangpire, and then finally the Venomari. Um, each of these have just been done on normal old drawing paper and done in different markers and permanent marker, as well as colored pencils, just your standard old Crayola colored pencils. So uh, let's get started with the first one, shall we? So first up we have the Hypnobri, and as you guys can see here I got General Scales over here with his staff, got Rattala, the Legacy Rattala, got Slithra, and then we have our little banner here. Now I just used this uh, little, man, things really love to leave your head once you think of them. Uh, we have a Pitchfork holding this flag together, obviously, since, you know, they did get attacked a lot with Pitchforks apparently, because the villagers would go from working to, you know, war mode. Um, so I put the head of the king snake um not necessarily supposed to be scales it's actually supposed to be slithra before he went off and got dethroned so this is during his reign of terror over the hypnobri um i would kind of think of it as a hypnobri colonial flag because of the way that they went off and like reigned over other tribes and they did have a kingdom so you know he looks awfully scary with his golden highlights and such so uh yeah that's kind of the only thing that this one was made for we got just a simple totem holding it up uh, other than that, that's kind of the only thing for the Hypnobri. Moving on to the Constrict Eye, as you guys can see here, we have Dao. We're going to go ahead and move him away. We got General Scalador with his uh, poncho going on. Um, we got Snike, the scout and sniper of the Constrict Eye with his fancy dragon blade and his poncho. And then finally, we have... Finally, we have Bitar with his fancy weird little flame shield, his... Uh, poncho and his weird little dragon tooth blade now going on up here i kind of did take general scalador mainly uh with his uh fancy chain uh thing going on that's kind of the constrict die sign messed up a little bit not gonna lie um but anyway i noticed that they it looks heavily like chains so i wanted to go ahead and put the chains around scalador and kind of just emphasize their you know strangulation strangulation powers um well it's not much of a power it's more of just an attack but anyway, um, so that's kind of what it's based on. Other than that, we just have a simple base holding it up. And it's, you know, just kind of ragged. Um, seen a lot of action. Moving on. We have the Anachondri War Flag. Obviously, I made this to kind of look a little bit like Pythor. But it's actually supposed to look like... Uh look like Arcturus, just kind of sitting there with his armor on. Um, you got this dude over here. He's kind of just supposed to be an Anachondri warrior, you know. So he's going to be, you know, bringing this thing up into battle. Um, I was thinking about actually attaching it to his back, you know, since he would be a flag or a banner barrier. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and move him out of the way. Um, he's kind of based off to look a little bit like Arcturus, a little bit like Pythor, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Um, I kind of just made up a serpentine language, so that way it wouldn't be the same as the uh, Ninjargon language. Um, so I kind of made it look like it says Kill on it, but it kind of says Killian, um, but there is no O, so it's more like Killio. Which is kind of weird. I have the weird Anachondri serpentine tail design, as well as just some random bits that looks... It's supposed to be minifigure hands, like they've been painted on, and they've just kind of speckled things all over this thing. So, uh, yeah, kind of spooky. Moving on, and so now we have the Fangpire. Um, we got Snike. Not Snike, my goodness. We have Snappa going off and wearing a vermilion helmet. We have Fang Sui. We got... Uh, Fang Tom, and then I did have Fang Dam over here, but I put him back in his case. Obviously, you guys can see I put one of Fang Dam's eyes on the flag, as well as the uh, the almost said Anaconda, as well as the Fangpire insignia, with uh, different little letters that kind of look like they say Skiff on it or Skyf, however you want to say that. But it just it just says gibberish, guys. It just kind of wanted to, to look cool, and that kind of looks like it says China. I didn't intend for it to look like it says China. It just it's just gibberish, let's be honest. Um, this is actually something I was supposed to cut out. I kind of forgot about that. Whoopsie. Um, just wanted to do this, you know, show off their red color with a little bit of their white accents. I thought that would be kind of a cool idea to show that it's been kind of patched up or, you know, like it's supposed to be like that. Um, you know, you just got some little blotches of red, kind of like the Fangpire themselves. Uh, moving on. Finally, we have the Venomari. So first we got Lazaru here. He's going off and I gave him a Chima body because his old body was uh, retired. So I went ahead and retired his old body. Um, we have 
Spitta here with a weird little bow with no arrow for some reason. Um, we have General Asidicus with his cape going on. He has a leaf cape from the weird garden kid from series 21 of the collectible minifigures. And then we have another Spitta with an agricultural scythe. Now we have finally the bearer with a battle pike going through it. Um, this one is probably my favorite. It was the first one that I had made. I went off and put a short up on YouTube if you want to see me draw it. Um, the darker colors really make me happy. I do like that I got to put the uh, weird speckle pattern that the Venomari has. Just wanted to kind of go off and throw all of their main colors on this thing. And it looks like it worked out pretty nicely. Um, it kind of looks like it says via kill or via kill, however you want to say it, or vile kill, who knows. Um, but I think it just kind of looks fancy. I just wanted it to go off and, you know, look like something the Venomari would carry around on them. And I think I succeeded. Um, as you guys can see here, it's just a simple old little pole that's holding it up with the battle pike attached. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of it. Thank you all so very much for watching today's video. If you did... If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, and feel free to comment on which one of these is your favorite. Um, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more cool Ninjago videos. I do post Ninjago stuff, you know, every now and again. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace out, and bye-bye!